Welcome, viewers, to a special Halloween episode of The Basics, as we take a look at that most bone-chilling, most blood-curdling, most terrifying group of Transformers, the Terror Cons! <laughs> What was I doing? <coughs> oh, uh, Terracons. Okay, so, <coughs> Terracon is one of those names that's been used up and down Transformers history to refer to hugely different things completely unrelated to one another. We're going to take a look at all of them in this episode, and we'll start with, what else? The original Terracons, who were released as part of the fourth year of the original Transformers toy line in 1987. This five-man team all transform into fantastical monsters and include the gluttonous leader Hunger, a two-headed dragon who can regurgitate what he eats as destructive projectiles, with a confusing history of different spellings for his name, Blot, a dumb ogre with absolutely vile personal hygiene, Cutthroat, a mercilessly savage reptilian bird monster, Ripper Snapper, a bipedal shark monster whose self-consciousness manifests as loathing for organic life, and the predatory Sinner Twin, another two-headed dragon who acts as the team's sentry. Together, the team merged to form the giant Abominus, a mindless monster who's more beast than bot. The Terracons were designed in the style of the previous year's combiner teams, with Hunger forming the torso and each of the smaller robots forming either an arm or a leg, each totally interchangeable, able to interact with the other combiners designed the same way. Despite being 1987 releases, they, and their Autobot counterparts, the Technobots, snuck their way into a handful of late-run episodes from the Generation 1 cartoon's third season in 1986, in advance of their toys hitting the shelves. The Terracons' introduction into the show was hasty and confused, though. The team were never given an origin story, appearing out of nowhere in the episode Grimlock's New Brain, and in the closest thing they had to a showcase episode, Money is Everything. They were working for the alien Quintessons with no explanation. After the end of the series, they continued to make appearances in the Japanese exclusive sequel The Headmasters, since it aired concurrently with their toys release, and they returned in 1990 for the Japanese direct-to-video special Transformers Zone. The team made their debut in the Marvel comic, meanwhile, in the Headmasters 4-issue miniseries, in which they were part of a Decepticon unit led by Scorponok that pursued a team of fleeing Autobots to the planet Nebulos. But outside of a brief, minor supporting role in the memorable Marvel UK story, Time Wars, their role in the comic was even less notable than in the cartoon, and they were offlined by the cosmically powered Starscream less than two years after their introduction. After that, for the next 20-25 years of Transformers history, the team just didn't have much of a role. None of its members got significant new toys or major roles in fiction, just little nods here and there. And today, even IDW Publishing hasn't found much room to explore the team in its comic books. There, they've been shown to be big fanboys of the Decepticon Six Changer Six Shot, and have been members of the Decepticons since the faction's early days, having once been foolish enough to try and kill Megatron after a failed operation, only to quickly realise the folly of their efforts. So with that not especially inspiring history of appearances in media behind them, it's really always been the Terracons' evocative names and unusual, imaginative, colourful alternate modes that have made them memorable to fans and bestial alternate modes were also the theme of the second type of Terracon introduced in Transformers Energon in 2004. The Energon Terracons were the foot soldiers of the insane alien Alpha Quintesson, but the Energon cartoon and comic each took a different approach to their story. In the cartoon, the Terracons were an endless horde of drones, engineered by Alpha Quintesson with the special ability to handle raw energon, which they could consume and process. There were four basic Terracon drone types. The Battle Ravage Jaguars, the Dive Bomb Hawks, the Cruel Lock Dinosaurs, and the Insecticon Beetles, all little more than animals and all commanded by the unique Terracon general, Scorponok, the only one with a spark and a sentient personality. The Terracons were formerly the inhabitants of Alpha Quintesson's homeworld, which was consumed by the planet-eating Unicron. But when Alpha Quintesson seized control of Unicron's dormant body, he was able to use Energon to resurrect and recreate that which Unicron had destroyed. 
he sent the reanimated Terracorns out into the universe to collect more Energon for him, so that he could reconstitute their lost planet, but found his ambitions challenged by Megatron, who eventually seized control of the Terracorns for himself. In Dreamwave Productions' Energon comic book, on the other hand, Battle Ravage, Dive Bomb, Cruelock, and Insecticon were not types of drone, but four singular individual robots. They and Scorponok were former Decepticons, who, together with a few other disgruntled comrades, formed the breakaway Terrorcon faction and joined forces with Alpha Quintesson, gathering Energon for him in return for new abilities he granted them via the power of Unicron. Alpha Quintesson would even later use that power to clone them, creating a massive Terracon army like that scene in the cartoon. Though the similarities are probably only a coincidence, the third most recent form of Terracon introduced in 2010 in the Transformers Prime animated series also took the form of a mindless army, which, just like the Energon cartoon's Terracons, also consisted of deceased beings resurrected by the power of Unicron, in this case, as feral zombies, reanimated by his lifeblood Dark Energon, that could only be controlled by another living Transformer with the substance running through their system. Notable unfortunates who died and became Terracons include the Autobot Cliffjumper, who served as Megatron's guinea pig for the process, and the Decepticon warrior Skyquake, who Starscream turned in a failed attempt to create a Terracon army of his own. Dark Energon experiments conducted by the Decepticons also resulted in the creation of a different kind of Terracon, a horror movie style living dead ghoul who craved the Energon flowing through other Transformers' veins, unable to be controlled, and whose bite turned victims into Terracons themselves, which could only be destroyed by a shot straight to their sparks. The Transformers' prime toyline also played host to the return of the original Terracon team in 2013. For the first time, new, small-scale toys of all five members were released, still able to combine into Abominus, but ironically enough, they couldn't be called the Terracons since this continuity was already using the name to refer to the Dark Energon zombies. Instead, this group were presented as clones of prehistoric Cybertronian reptiles known as Predacons, and the individual members had a few name changes too due to trademark issues. Blot became Blight. Cutthroat became Windraiser, and Sinner Twin became Twin Strike. These names carried over to the Creo Building Block toy line when a version of the team was released in it that same year, and fans thought that these would be the permanent new names for the characters. After all, who could imagine children's toys being released today with names like Cutthroat and Sinner Twin? But it turned out we were dead wrong when the original Terracons were recently announced to be returning in the upcoming Power of the Primes toy line. All five bots will be back as full-size action figures, with their original alternate modes and names, and able to combine into Abominus once again. Will this finally be the original team's chance to shine in comics and cartoons at last? Only time will tell. And those are the basics on Terracons. All very different, but which one's your favourite? As usual, speak your mind in the comments, have a happy Halloween, and I'll see you next time for more.